In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can set up your cameras for your CGI production project. So what we're going to do is grab everything in the scene and press Ctrl G. And then we are going to go to Modify Center Pivot. Um, I'm just going to rename this group. The next thing that you need to do is to position your camera where you want the first frame of your turntable to be um, and that will set the initial point of the camera and then it will rotate around the, the pivot which will be at the center of your scene. I'm just going to turn on my film gate so that I can see exactly where the boundary of my render is and then just adjust my scene like so when I'm happy with it I'm going to go to the animation menu make sure that my group that I created is selected and go to visualize create turntable and open the options box I'm just going to set this to 100 frames for now and direction is clockwise apply so now you'll see my has created a group and inside that is a turntable. Um, we are now looking through turntable camera and if you want to go back to perspective you can but the camera is listed here as well. And so if we start to move now we see that between frames 1 and 100 we get a full 360 degree turntable of our scene. Now for your project you only need to go and show me the portion that is for your room so what we're going to do is we're going to take this keyframe and we're just going to move it so that actually when we're at frame 100 it is at this point in the scene so we're going to go to windows animation editors graph editor okay and again with this group selected now which has got our keyframes on it i'm going to drag this I'm going to put my pointer time timeline slider at 100 grab this keyframe and just drag it out so that I'm lengthening how long the turntable lasts for but I'm ending it roughly here where I've before we go outside of the scene so now we have this turntable that by a hundred frames is only showing us the portion of the room that we need. You can render this project four to six seconds, so a hundred to hundred and fifty frames. So if you wanted to do hundred and fifty frames and have a slightly slower camera move, then all you would need to do is put your time slider at hundred and fifty as you move this and just move it around like this. I'm going to stick with 100 frames. So that's all set up.